To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in MgOH2, that's magnesium hydroxide, we'll use these rules here. First thing to note that magnesium hydroxide, this compound here, it doesn't have a plus or a minus after it. That means it's a neutral compound, like an ion would have a plus or minus charge after it. As a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So that's really helpful. If we look at our list of rules here, magnesium, that's in group two on the periodic table. Group two, those elements have a plus two oxidation number. Oxygen, it is negative two, except in a few instances. So here it's got that minus two. And then hydrogen, and then hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, oxygen here, that's a nonmetal, it's got a plus one. So we've got a plus one charge here. And these are the oxidation numbers for MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide. These should all add up to zero. So let's just check, make sure we got this right. We have plus two for the magnesium, plus, and let's just write it like we have our formula here, minus two for the oxygen, plus, plus one for the hydrogen. And then we have two of these hydroxides. So we'll put a two out here. And all of that, that should equal zero. So two plus, this is minus one times two, so that's minus two equals zero. So that's true. Zero, that equals zero. True statement. These are the correct oxidation numbers for magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.